this thing that we call the housing crisis. It actually is not a housing crisis. It's a distribution crisis, right? We have over 10,000 empty units in the Bay Area right now. We have over 20,000 empty luxury units in the Bay Area right now, right? And yet people are still under uh, more than 50% rent burden. And yet there are still 9,000 people laying on the sidewalk, right? It's not a housing crisis we're experiencing. It's philosophical, it's priority, it's economic, and it's political. We have to recognize that. Welcome back to The Response, a podcast, book, and documentary film exploring the remarkable communities that arise in the aftermath of disasters. I'm your host, Tom Llewellyn. After an extended holiday break, we've begun working on season three and are looking forward to releasing new episodes in the coming months. In the meantime, we want to share a special interview Shareable recorded with Noni Session, the executive director of East Bay Permanent Real Estate Cooperative. The interview explores Oakland's affordable housing crisis, how EB Prec is working to address the situation as part of a broader just transition movement, and what people can do to get involved and invest in this transformational work. The conversation is part of Shareable's special series on zoning and land use laws in the United States. In order to provide a historical context for the project, Shareable's executive director, Neil Gorenflow, created an in-depth timeline to detail the sweep, sequence, and scale of 100 years of racist housing policies in the U.S. The entire series has been wrapped up into an ebook with the title, How Racism Shaped the Housing Crisis and What We Can Do About It. You can download a free copy right now on the homepage at shareable.net. That was just a taste. To listen to the full episode, please visit theresponsepodcast.org or find The Response wherever you get your podcasts.